This is Josh with blogofspeed.com, and we're in the 2012 Toyota Prius. Now, I know, blog of speed, why are you in a Prius? I don't pick the cars, I just review them. That being said, what do I think of the Prius? Well, I think it's pretty good. I'm averaging about 43.7 miles to the gallon, and I've gone about 270 miles. I did a bit of highway, uh, a bunch of city. Uh, the car's significantly better on gas in the city as it can use its EV mode much more frequently. Uh, for example, right now we're not running the gas motor at all, doing about 40 miles an hour, and it's, it's a pretty nice feeling using no gas. Um, so, the Prius. A lot of people think the Prius is horrible, it's the worst driver's car ever, and they would never own one. It's a terrible vehicle. Well, I don't think it's a terrible vehicle. I just think it's geared towards fuel economy and efficiency. Now, someone looking to buy a Prius isn't someone who's going to be looking at a Miata, an M3, a Subaru BRZ, anything like that. Um, the person who buys a Prius, in, in my opinion, should want a car that's good on fuel economy and doesn't necessarily steer towards the enthusiast side of driving. Uh, the car behaves very well. It's very easy to drive, uh, very easy to drive getting good mileage, uh, especially in the city. It's a great city car. Now, the comment I've gotten most from my friends when I tell them about the Prius is, oh, those are expensive. Now, the base price is right around $25,000, and the cars keep their residual value fairly well. So, whether you buy or lease, the car really doesn't cost that much to own. Now, there have been some talks about the battery problems, but I believe Toyota put a very generous warranty on the battery should something ever happen. Uh, now, who do I recommend this car to? Well, I recommend this car to someone who's looking for a car that primarily gets good fuel mi fuel mileage and gets them from point A to B. Um, this isn't a driving enjoyment car. Although it is enjoying to drive, it's not made for the thrill of driving. Um, it was made with fuel efficiency and usability in mind. Uh, the hatchback stows quite a bit of gear. Uh, I've had a toolbox in it, all my camera gear, everything fits really well. Um, the look of the car is a polarizing feature. A lot of people like it, some people don't like it. It looks like a hybrid. Um, now, they did that for aerodynamics to help the fuel economy, and you're seeing an underlying theme. This car was really made for fuel economy, and for that, it really excels. I really recommend it to someone who is looking for a car to get them where they want to go, and who lives in a city, and likes getting good gas mileage. Um, a lot of journalists really dislike the Prius. I don't. I think it's a great car and a great answer to rising gas prices and just general transportation. Um, again, I think most people think the Prius is very expensive. It's around $25,000. Uh, when you think that a comparable hatchback uh, of other brands is around twenty, dollars it's not that big of a stretch. Uh, you'll have to do the numbers to see if it makes sense for you to get a hybrid over a non-hybrid. Uh, what I really would like to see Toyota do is introduce a Prius diesel. I think that could be absolutely amazing for mileage, but that's my dream, not necessarily yours. Um, this car is really a pleasure to be in, and... I gotta say, Toyota really hit the nail on the head with what they were shooting for. Um, like I said, if you want a sports car, this isn't it. But if you want something that's good on gas and will get you where you want to go, this is a uh, it's a great choice. And that's really my two cents about the Toyota Prius. And if you guys want more, I'll be doing a, a fairly comprehensive review of this car on Blog of Speed. Uh, Anyway, enjoy yourselves, and uh, I'll keep enjoying the Prius. Uh, stay tuned for that review, and also stay tuned for the next car next week. I don't know what it's going to be, but it should be pretty cool. Have a good one.